I thought that was you. Brooke, remember peace on Earth time? Oh, don't worry. This is not an ambush. Christmas shopping? Yeah. Sorry to say Jamie's not on my Christmas list this year. Are you? Sorry, I mean. Jamie's family. I hate that he's coming. Let's sit. You know, this is no joy for me. I've been so angry. I mean, everything that you've done to Jamie, he almost died because of you. You only know his side of the story. All right. So tell me yours. Help me try and understand what happened to you. Nothing happened to me. I grew up. You grew up with a vengeance. What do you want from me? I want you not to be like your father. And I want you to tell me the truth about Babe and Jamie. The only truth I know is that they ran off together. Why? Why leave town? I mean, is there a piece of the puzzle missing for me? There are no pieces missing. Did you threaten Jamie again? I didn't drive Jamie away. Babe shook her money maker and he was gone. Why would Babe leave her child behind? Because that's Babe. All bad news all the time. She wanted out of the marriage, so she used my brother for her fast getaway. There's more to it. He's gone. Accept it. I have. Bianca fell from your hotel balcony. That had nothing to do with Jamie. Well, it had plenty to do with you. I've written an article for Tempo suggesting that you're the catalyst for Bianca's fall or even the direct cause. Tell me the truth about Jamie and Babe or you're going to be next week's cover story. Jamie's knack for backstabbing. He got that. The woman who used to give me milk and cookies just turned on me like a rattlesnake. Publish whatever you want. They are. The last thing that I want to do is hurt you. I just want to know how things got this way. Gotcha. The truth and nothing but. Okay. I'll tell you. I did what I had to do to protect my little girl. What did you do in Florida to protect Beth? We had just finished the benefit concert for Miranda. And what should have been a positive for Bianca turned into a nightmare. She spun out of control. Go on. When we were in my hotel suite, Bianca was on the balcony getting hysterical. My first concern was for Bess, but Bianca wouldn't calm down. She, she lost her footing and went over the railing. I hate what happened to her. I pray to God that she makes a full recovery. I pray that my daughter's not traumatized by that memory. Babies sense these things. They see when someone's hurt or upset. I mean, I remember things when I was small. What kinds of things? Things like I'm in my crib in the dark, listening to angry voices, shouting, crying, fighting over me. I knew from those voices that the world was a scary place and I didn't want to go there. That's why I turned my back on Bianca when she started to freak. I had to. I had to for best. I had to protect my daughter. I don't want anyone scaring my little girl. That's not the whole story. Something else went down between you and Jamie. Please, tell me so I can help make things right with you and your brother. Help me bring Jamie home. I am not the reason Jamie deserted. Babe is. She's the evil brook, not me.
Sophie Daddy? Well, um, about as old as you are. I got her for your very first Christmas. She's my best present ever. Well, I'm glad that you still love her. I'll love her forever. Will you love me forever? Daughters, forever and ever and ever.